Kingdom, D&D, &D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate... I think that was probably like a low, high six, low seven. ...inside my lunch. Let's go. Today I'm using these frosted teal dice that were sent in by a viewer. Thanks. Those are actually First look up, cool. let's roll for bread. Three, sesame bun. All right, I think I love, there's a trick I these. love buns, Open too. sesame. Buns are so good. There we go. Oak. All right, next up, let's roll for main. 11, roll twice. Ooh. All right, rolling again for two mains. Eight salmon spread and 10 chicken. Not really sure what to expect with this salmon spread. It doesn't look incredibly appetizing upon opening, but it smells okay. I think it looks a little bit better once you start digging into it. It's a very finely ground salmon with a little bit of a cream cheese as a binder and a decent amount of chipotle seasoning. I took a little taste and it's spicier than I expected it to be. It doesn't taste very fishy, so I'm happy about that. Wait, it's spicy? with this salmon smells okay. I think it looks a little bit better once you start digging into it. It's a very finely ground salmon with a little bit of a cream cheese as a binder and a decent amount of chipotle seasoning. I took a little taste. I like things that are spicy, spicier so. Spicier than I expected it to be. I'd be open it to it. It very fishy, so I'm happy about that. Less fishy, Added more spicy. That, we've got our oven roasted deli chicken, just like we used on Wednesday. Tasty stuff, if a little on the dry side. All right, let's roll for our cheese. Hey, dry One, chicken. No cheese. Again? Again? I thought we were in the clear here, but apparently the cheese curse is back. That's tough. All right, well, let's roll for roughage. Two celery and three pickled okra. Ugh, things are not looking good. Oh. Celery is probably the most boring vegetable, and it's not going to do much to elevate this chicken. Hopefully that chipotle in this sandwich does a lot of the heavy lifting. Thank you so much, buddy. Well, at least our pickled okra will give us a little nice acidic kick. I think this one more than most is really going to hinge on the wild magic and sauce rolls. And as we all know, that can go one of two ways. Uh oh. Uh -oh. All right, let's hit it with a little bit of that uh -oh. wild magic. Three crispy onions. Some of you were very concerned last time I didn't use my coupon, but it was only good if you were buying the dressing too. And yes, I say coupon, I'm from Michigan. These will add a little crunch, a little onion flavor. Maybe I'm not a big fan of that, to but. Keep things interesting. All right, and last but Something. not least, it's the D20 sauce roll. Here we go. Ah, biscuits. <laughs> ketchup. Well, I think it's official. I love how much he hates ketchup. We'll find out. I've been surprised by ketchup before, but I don't think the other ingredients are strong enough. Oh, for no. To get good out of this. Let's get our toothpicks in there to hold it together. Classic Emong sandwich. Let's get it cut in half. And let's take a look at that cross section. Okay. Disclaimer Emong does not well, eat sandwiches with ketchup. He just likes here ketchup. That you never know until you try. A lot. So, let's give it a taste. The, the texture of that salmon is not enjoyable. Also, just kind of spicy for the sake of being spicy without really having any yeah, good I'm glad flavor. It, I'm, chicken, glad, I'm celery, glad it didn't exist in my grocery now. Varied by the ketchup and the chipotle flavors. You can kind of taste the crispy onions, but they're not doing enough. This one's a 2.8, and I'm going to call it ketchup of the day. Here you go, Earl. Hopefully they taste as nice as they look. That's it for this week on Roll for Sandwich. I'll see you again on Monday. Have a good weekend. Damn. Good afternoon, Dean. I go again. And beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today's episode of Roll for Sandwich is sponsored by Uncanny Brands. They sent me this D20 toaster to check out. Whoa. That is pretty cool. It's available on their website via the link in my bio, along with a bunch of other cool gadgets. You can use code SANDWICH20 to get 20% off your order. Now check 20 this out. 20% off is actually D20 insane. D20 toast. All right, let's kick it off here with our roll for bread. Five, everything bagel. All right, let's get our everything. Do you guys know about me and everything bagels? Everything bagel here in our D20 toaster. You will love everything bagels. Get everything bagels, plain bagel superior. Turn it on by pulling the lever down. Help this bagel get down there. Then we'll hit the bagel button so it only toasts on one side. A few moments later. All right, now that our everything bagel is toasted, let's get it to the plate. It's been quite a few episodes since we've had bagel. That looks a little, little over-toasted. All right, let's roll for our main. Hey, Sam. Wait, you said onion bagels are the best? My guy, that was your first message ever in my chat. You need you got to you got to recover right now. You so, the bar was he, here and you you tripped on it. Come on. Be fucking better. Spread. All right, well we're going to use up the rest of our salmon spread that is definitely 100% not. Oh, that looks just oh, that looks this wild. Chipotle salmon spread does have a little bit of cream cheese in it, so oh, I don't know about that bagel. one. I don't know about this Maybe one, buddy. Good. I don't All know about right, this one. Up, let's roll for cheese. Six, honey goat. 
This is a much firmer variety of goat cheese than the Chevra that we had on the show before. It's slightly sweet, but still has that distinctive tang of goat cheese. It is a very creamy cheese, not exactly bagel cream cheese, but I think this might be a winner. All right, let's roll our roughage. All right, we've got 11 none and 12 rolled twice. Let's roll for that 12. Okay. We've got 11 none and 12 rolled twice. Okay, let's roll for that 12 again. And now we just have two eighths, double onion. All right, I think I'm gonna bring out the Mando Mando for this one. What? And salmon on a bagel is getting me to think lox. Yo, by the way, so honestly, thank you for the 30 months. Wait, you're in London? Uh, bagels, stay safe, have so fun. I'm gonna try to shave this onion pretty thin. Probably could have gone thinner. Oh God, good. I onion forgot what the sandwich looked like. be actually a pretty winning combination as far as trying to pair with that salmon. All right, let's hit it with some wild magic. 15, tahine. All right, I think this will go okay. We're kind of just amping up the chipotle and amping up the tang from the goat cheese with the lime and the spice here. All right, can the D20 sauce roll redeem salmon spread? Nat 20. All right, I always feel like fresh dill is a good addition to lox and bagels, so I am going to go with this dill mayo. Let's go ahead and get our sandwich closed up here. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together, and let's go ahead and get it cut in half. Let's take a look at that cross section. I don't know about this all one, right. Chief. Thinking about all the flavors going into it, I have decent hopes for this one. I don't let's know about this one, Chief. Well, having this salmon spread on a bagel helps the texture issues, and that onion really pops in a good way. The cheese, the tahine, the mayo, it all kind of works. I think we found a way to make that salmon work. I'm going to give this one an 8.6, and I'm going to call it Whoa. Lox, Sauce, and Two Toasted Bagels. Thanks again to Uncanny Brands for sponsoring this episode. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. That is way higher than I expected. Way, way, way higher. Good afternoon, D&D, &D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today I'm using these smoky liquid core dice that were sent in by a viewer. By the way, why did I get a message from Emong that says, I'll have you know, outside of fries, I haven't had ketchup on anything in 10 months. What did you guys do? You guys, are, you guys are some snitches. What's wrong with you guys? We can't even have a little thing here. You guys gotta go run in. Shut your mouth. How about that? We just keep quiet and we, we can keep something between us, okay? Viewer, thanks. First up, let's roll for bread. Four freezer ends. My freezer selection today is some Jewish pumpernickel. Not a bad start. That looks Next fire. Up, let's roll for our main. Nine pickle loaf. Pickle loaf is essentially. Ooh, I hate that. Dish, embedded in nah. The and not, in fact, a Dragon Ball Z character. It's decently tasty stuff. It reminds me of being a kid. My 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 grandfather liked that a lot. Okay, I use the word a lot, but he just kind of ate anything. He was very much like Depression era, just. You, you, you eat what's given to you. My grandma would buy it sometimes. It was always the last thing in the fridge. Always. And he was the only person who ate it in the whole house. And I was like, why do you guys buy this? Nobody likes it. Next up, let's roll for cheese. Three, queso fresco. The last time we <sighs> rolled queso... I'm so mad I don't get to try this specific one. Fresco was the infamous ice cream sandwich. This is definitely a more tame situation so far. I think the mild and salty queso fresco will go nicely here with the fatty and briny pickle loaf. Next up, let's roll for our roughage. Three pickled okra and five avocado. Well, with this, I'll be finally using up the last of my pickled okra. We'll get them both cut in half here and lay down on our sandwich as evenly as we can. These will be a fine addition, just adding a little bit more of that pickle element. It's been a minute since we've had avocado and I was a little worried that we weren't gonna get to this one before it went bad, especially since it seems that the avocado ripeness window is about a minute long. This one was on the edge, but we made it in time. I think the richness and fat of the avocado will be a great addition here. Balancing the briny notes from the pickled element. Did I ever tell you guys that I don't know how to open so an avocado? And I, there was one Next time I bought an avocado and I basically crushed the whole thing because I was trying to open it with a knife that didn't cut. And I couldn't figure out why I couldn't just slice it like everyone else can. So I stabbed it and the whole thing went. Magic. Eight chicken salt. All right, well back again we have- And then I tried to do the thing we just like, pop the knife into the cork or whatever and then pull it out and I try to do that and just it would not go in and I smash through it. Savory and salty spice from down under chicken salt. The original well, the chicken, chicken salt, salt now. 
bouillon, and some varieties today include roasted and dried chicken meat and skin. Oh, I got salt, Jesus Christ! Actual chicken. Do you want? Do you want some sandwich with your salt, man? All right, and last but not least, it's the D20 sauce roll. Nine Parmesan garlic. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add our spicy Parmesan okay, that kind of looks garlic fire. sauce. It's great on chicken wings. We'll see how it fits with this sandwich. Let's go ahead and get our sandwich closed up. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together, and let's get it cut in half. And let's take a look at that cross section. All right. Well, I'm pretty optimistic about this one, but I don't know why this reminded me of something, but I need more. Um, uh, I need mambo sauce. It remains to be seen. Let's give it a taste. Mm-hmm. Well, I do think I went a tad heavy on the chicken salt. And this Parmesan garlic sauce is a... Wait, 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 hang on. What'd you say? Mm-hmm. Well, I do think I went a tad heavy on the chicken salt. Oh, you, you don't say. And this Parmesan garlic sauce is a little bit spicier than I would like for this particular sandwich, <laughs> but it's not bad. The avocado and pickles have a nice balance, and it's held together oh, well man. with a nice hearty Jewish pumpernickel. I think with a different sauce that wasn't quite as strong, it would have been even better. But as it is, I'm gonna rate it as 7.8, and I'm gonna call it Namekian Fusion. Well, I hope each and every one of you have an amazing day. I ain't gonna lie though, he's really making me wanna try Friday. chicken salt. Good